Hello! In this video, we're going to be talking about attaching a camera to your telescope. In the first part of this video, what we're going to talk about specifically is attaching a DSLR. A camera like this. There are lots of different cameras you can attach, but one of the most popular is the DSLR. There are several ways to attach it. We're going to be attaching it right now to this 127 millimeter refractor. Later we're going to be attaching it to different types of telescopes, but the idea is going to remain the same. The absolute best way to attach a camera to a telescope like this is what they call prime focus. That requires a few different pieces. The first piece is what's called a T-ring, and it looks like this. This little guy actually attaches where the lens attaches on the, the DSLR, and then attaches to a prime focus adapter, which is the second piece. This is a prime focus adapter. You take the T-ring, you screw it into the two inch prime focus adapter, like such. Now we need to attach this to the camera and to the telescope. The first thing we need to do is we need to remove the entire diagonal assembly off of this. We will loosen it and remove the diagonal from the focuser. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our prime focus adapter and there is a dot on the prime focus adapter right there. That dot lines up with the dot on the camera. We put the adapter on just like we would with a lens. Then we take the entire assembly, we slide it up into the focuser, making sure that it's seated completely, and then tighten it up. Now at this point you can either look through the camera or you can use live view to try and focus on the target that you're wanting to take a picture of. There are more advanced methods that get you better focusing. Those are covered in my books, Budget Astrophotography and Long Exposure Astrophotography. Both of those are, you can find links on my website. Now another way that is popular to attach, because it's a little bit simpler, and works on telescopes that do not have a two inch focuser. We still need obviously the camera and we still need the T-ring. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the diagonal back into the telescope. And then normally we would put our eyepiece right there. We're going to do it a little differently though. We're going to take this adapter, which is a inch and a quarter, what they call combined camera adapter. This one comes from Orion, although you can get them from a, a variety of places. We're going to take our eyepiece and we're going to drop it inside of this adapter. And we're going to tighten the little set screw on the side. Now we can take our T-ring and we go there. Now there's a problem with this and you may have already seen it. The rubber eye cup, that can get in the way of the mirror on the DSLR. So if your rubber eye cup sticks above the edge of this T-ring adapter, you need to remove that rubber eye cup and of course it just pulls right off. Now you take this entire assembly, you attach it the exact same way to the camera using the white dot, locking it into place. Now you can take the entire thing, set it into your eyepiece adapter on your telescope, and there you go. This method is called eyepiece projection, whereas the previous method, of course, was prime focus. This will allow you to focus in some telescopes that you normally couldn't. For example, Dobsonians. You can't really use prime focus in most Dobsonians. However, you can use prime focus on refractors. It works quite well. This also will attach to things like the Coronado Solar Telescope that you can't directly attach cameras to usually. This will allow you to do that. 
Now there's some other methods as well, and we're going to talk about those in the next section of our video. Now just a minute ago, we talked about attaching a camera to a refractor. Now, a lot of you are not going to be using a refractor. You're going to be using a telescope like this, a Dobsonian. So whether you have a Dobsonian or a Newtonian, which is basically a Dobsonian on a mount, or this is actually a Newtonian and a Dobsonian mount, depending on how you want to look at it, the attachment methods are the same. Dobsonian is going to attach exactly the same way that we did just a minute ago to the refractor. So the first method we're going to use, since I already have it set up, is the eyepiece projection. We still have the camera set up with the eyepiece projection. We still have the eyepiece inside of it. Just like you did on the refractor, you just slide this into the adapter, lock it in, and you're good to go. Most Dobsonians will allow you to image like this. Dobsonians require more back focus than a lot of other telescopes. What back focus is, is the, the distance from the mirror to the focal plane inside the camera right here. Most of them are not set up for astrophotography. So if you attempt to connect uh, like we did with the refractor using prime focus, a lot of times they won't achieve focus. They'll be blurry and there's no way you can get focus. If that happens to you, then your only options are to get a different kind of focuser, which reduces the distance, basically making the focal plane of your camera closer. Or you could attempt to move the mirror forward, although I really recommend you don't do that. So your best method is to use the eyepiece projection like this. Most of the time you're not doing really long exposure stuff with a uh, telescope like this. So it's really not going to give you that much image degradation. But just in case you do have one that will work, we can attach it exactly the same way we did last time. We take the, this adapter off. We remove the T-ring from the end of the adapter. Like that. We attach the T-ring to our prime focus adapter. We attach the T-ring to the DSLR without dropping it. We remove our adapter. Now we have a two inch that we can slide that right into, tighten the adapter, and off we go. And if you can achieve focus this way, this is definitely the best way to go. Next, we're going to talk about attaching point-and-shoot cameras or even your phone to a type of telescope. Okay, we previously talked about attaching a DSLR to a couple of telescopes, but there are several other different types of cameras you may want to attach to a telescope. So what we have here is a typical 8-inch Dobsonian with a typical 25mm puzzle eyepiece. What we're going to do is we're going to attach a couple of different cameras. First thing we're going to do is use an adapter like this. This one I got from Orion. It's called the SteadyPix, and it's specifically for the iPhone. See the cutout here. This one's for an older iPhone, but the idea is going to be the same. It's very, very simple. You take this piece, you unscrew this until it fits over the eyepiece. And you screw this down so that it holds on the eyepiece. Make sure your eyepiece is tight in the telescope. Adjust it to where the hole for the iPhone camera is right above the eyepiece. like such, and take your iPhone, slide it in, and you're good to go. Now you can take a picture. Once you're done, it's very simple. You just drop that off, loosen this, and pull it off of your eyepiece. Now one thing you may have noticed is there is an adjustment on the back as well. This allows it to slide up and down depending on the 
where the eyepiece falls in relation to the hole for the camera on the back of the iPhone. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach a typical point and shoot camera. A lot of you will, will still have one of these because it's a little you can get a little bit higher quality than uh, some of the phones out today and you can get a nice little adapter like this. This is a Zoomel Universal uh, Digiscoping Adapter and it adjusts about a million different ways to make sure that you can get it uh, your camera on the telescope where you want it. Now it starts out exactly the same way over the eyepiece and then you latch it in. Now once that's attached most of your point-and-shoot cameras will have a screw right there on the bottom, a little screw hole. And this has a little piece right there. So now, once you get that attached, there are two adjustments that allow you to get the uh, lens perfectly aligned with this. I'm going to take it back off so I can show you those two adjustments. This adjustment here on the side moves the camera back and forth this way. So I can use this to align it left and right. This one uh, uh, tightens up the base so that it's really stable. But down here at the very bottom is a little piece that moves the base up and down. As you can see it's moving down there and then it moves up. So this little universal that's just absolutely rock solid metal. Now this base is plastic, but this piece is all metal. Will allow you to attach virtually any type of camera you could ever come up with. Uh, digital camera. <laughs> to your telescope. 